but uh, it says here a number divided by 40 has a quotient of 16 what is the number so number divided by 40 has a quotient of 16 what is a number so again what we have to do with this problem is i'm, I'm giving words right i'm giving a number is divided by 40 right when we talk about number i'm going to say let x be the number right so that's going to be my first statement here so let x be the number so this entire here equals x right and i can say that is divided by 40, right? So I can say x divided by 40. So I'm writing a mathematical expression based on the word stuff they give us, right? So x divided by 40 or x over 40 has a quotient of 16. So when we talk about quotient, it means that it, it are, the answer is 16 when we divide something together. When we divide a dividend and a divisor together, we get a quotient, right? So this here, this quotient just means that it would equal equal 16 right so equals 16 and again it says what is the number right so we have this algebraic expression or sorry equation in this case um, uh, x divided by 40 equals 16 all we have to do is we have to uh, solve for x right so again we have x divided by 40 i want to do the opposite operation so opposite of division is multiplication right so i have here i mean to multiply both sides by 40 right so over 40 i'm going to multiply this side by 40 and multiply this side by 40. As you can see, the division by 40 and the multiplication here, these two guys cancel out, which means I have x here, x by itself, equals 16 times 40. I'm gonna take out my calculator for a sec. 16 times 40 here would equal 640. So this here is my answer. Oh, I forgot a remainder with a, oh, quotient of six. Oh my gosh, not quotient of 16. Sorry, I copied the question wrong. This here is all incorrect. <laughs> My bad. Uh, has a quotient of 6. Okay, okay. And a remainder of 16. Okay. Quotient of 6 and remainder of 16. Okay. So that changes our algebraic expression, obviously. So we have x, and we still have x divided by 40. Um, has a quotient of 6, right? 6 here. Quotient of 6 and a remainder of 16, right? A remainder of 16. So 6 divided by um, 16, uh, 16 and 40, right? So we have to say that this algebraic expression would equal x over 40 equals 6 and 16 over 40, right? 6 is 16, 6 times 16 over 40 here. So this here, again, uh, this here is my... Uh, uh, my algebraic expression, the exact same thing. And what I can do is I can then, I do the exact same thing. I can multiply both sides by 40. So x, um, I have x here, uh, I have to multiply by both sides by 40, equals 6 over 16 over 40 times 40 here. Uh, x cancels out, right? These two guys cancel out. And what I'm left here with, if I want, if I didn't want to use my, um, my calculator can actually, uh, what I can do is I can uh, uh, change this into an improper fraction, right? So in order for me to do that, um, let me do some side work here. I have to do 6 times 40. 6 times the denominator is 240 plus the numerator. So 6 times 40 is 240 plus the numerator plus 16 is 256 over 40. So this here is 256 over 40. Over 40. And then I'm still multiplying it by 40, right? And then... Of x equals the 40, again cancels out, and I'm left with 256 is my final answer for this problem. So, so sorry for that. I read, I misread the question. I didn't even know there was a remainder in the question, but I did. So, there we go. Algebraically, this is x equals 256. So, exact same thing. The answer is 256, which is good. If a number divided by 40 has a quotient of 6 with a remainder of 14, that means the num the that 40 goes into a number six times and still has 16 left over. So that's the definition of a remainder. We can call the number x. So it say x over 40 equals 6, 6 and 16th over 40. So that's what I did here and solve for x. And then they did 16 over 40 equals 256 over 40, which is good. And then, then they can they simply just cancel out and x equals 256. Great answer. 
Trade Solution and Analysis.